All right, so today we're here with Bentley and we're working on him not being so fearful of strangers. So what we're having the guardians do is one is going to play the part of the guest. So um, he just went outside. Well, we have the other guardian over here um, working with Bentley. And what we want to focus on is keeping the leash nice and loose. So notice how the leash is. Okay, so he's going too fast. So you're going to want to help move him away. Move him as oop, far back away, as far back away as you can get him to go until he stops barking. Okay, keep going. If we can, we can turn any lights on yep. or to where those might be so I can, so I can show you. Perfect. Okay. So keep moving him back. Good. See how the leash is nice and loose and how he's following you. Mm -hmm. This is what the goal is to get him to be far enough away where he is nice and calm and he's able to just stand there. Good. So he's not barking anymore and he had not yet, and that, this is a good sign. So when he's ready, we're gonna let him start walking forward. What you wanna look for is if he's calm, mm -hmm. he's not gonna walk in a hard beeline straight line, and um, that's a sign that you can just follow him and keep the leash loose and let him guide you forward. So that's him saying, I'm comfortable moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, but let him try to guide that. If he starts, say if he's walking um, as we move forward, if he starts wandering and he's comfortable and then all of a sudden he starts darting forward, that's when you wanna kind of start pulling him back and helping him move away. That way he's nice and relaxed. Or you get him to a point where he's relaxed. One thing you should be seeing over time is that you don't have to move as far away. Mm -hmm. Over time he should get more comfortable not having to move as far away. You can try since it seems like he does look for it. There you go. Now just follow him. Perfect. Just keep following him. Great. Notice his tail. It's not above his spine. I'm saying I know we talked about this mm -hmm. off camera, but I'm reminding you for the video mm -hmm. that his tail is in a pretty good position still. And notice again, his not walk. That's when you've got to pull him back. There, perfect. That was perfect. Go ahead and move him back. Now he's kind of calming back down. Notice his tail is loose, still kind of loose. His body's moving calmer. You didn't have to go as far back as you were before. Much better. That's that's exactly what I like to see. So if he wants to, if he starts moving forward again, go ahead and follow him unless he starts beelining it. And his tail's getting calmer and calmer. Go ahead and take like one step forward because I think he thinks that he shouldn't walk forward without you going first. Good. That's the kind of greeting that you want to be seeing. That was perfect. This is exactly what you want. This will take longer with people he doesn't know, but this is all of exactly what you want to see. This is in a shorter time period. But these are all the things you want to see. And we were able to see when he started feeling it, being too worked up, too excited. And now we can see him be able to walk over, greet you, and be nice and calm. Again, just for the, the sake of the video, for notes, you want to remember the tail is the best way to indicate energy level. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the higher it is, the more energy he has. And you want to keep it below the spine. Be looking for a nice, relaxed body posture and kind of walking in kind of a zigzag or more relaxed posture. All right.